Okay, in this question, you can see that there are many um, circles. Yeah, so at the same time, when you see this, uh, you're not going to count them one by one. You're going to group them up. So one of the primary things to take note is skill sets is to tackle them as a group. Okay, okay so let's start. Okay, parameter of the shaded part will be like this. Okay, so we have one circle, one full circle. Okay, even though it's supposed to be up like that, but because I want to count it as a one full circle by doing a band here, then the other one will be the other one will be um one full circle like that. Then this is another quadrant. And then this is a full circle. And over here. Okay. For the blue one, in fact, I miss out one quadrant. Excuse me here. So one quadrant, two quadrants, two quadrant, three quadrant, four quadrants. So it makes up into a full circle. So in fact, there are three circles. So for part A, circumference of three of three circles will be three pi d, which is equal to three times use the pi that they give. Diameter is 14, two times seven, and that's 132 cm. In fact, this one is okay for your child. It's the grouping of the circles together and calculate together that is the skill that your child must develop. All right. Okay, so for part B, what do they want? Find the area of the shaded part. Okay, so for the area, right, it seems like you have three circles. Okay, you have three circles. Okay, and not forgetting the window, yeah, which is, let me use the color. Okay, maybe I use uh, yellow. Can you see this? Okay, so in fact, if you draw it big enough, it's actually a leaf. Yeah, so each of them, okay, so in fact, if I may, I decide that, okay? And when you cut it, it's actually a leaf. Yeah, so this part, this is actually the, this is actually the quadrant. Okay, this is the quadrant, okay? And this part is actually a square, okay? Yeah, so a square cut away a quadrant, okay, will give you the, will give you this part. And you just need to times one, two, three, four, and another four here. So there are a total of eight. So now you just to find one first, okay? Just, just find one first. So how to do that? Okay, I'll draw like that. Okay, it's equals to a square minus a quadrant, which is actually this one, huh? which is actually this one. Okay, so I just do over here, which is equals to seven times seven, that's a radius, minus of a quarter times pi r square, so pi r square, and then you can do cancellation to make it easy for you. Okay, and it's, it's 49 minus of 38.5, which is equals to 10.5 cm square. And then when you have eight of this, as what we have shown here, four here, four here, okay, four here, four here, total eight, and you take eight times 10.5 equals to 84, okay? cm square then not forgetting that here is the a parameter this is the area find four oh yeah um, no four sorry three okay three you have three pi r square okay so three pi r square will be pi r square and then use a calculator you get 462 cm square and then you add together add together you get 5, 4, 6 cm square. Okay, so I skip all the calculations because I think that by now you should be able to do all this. 
it's more of like the skill of uh, grouping them up together to solve it more easily. So if you find that this is useful and you like our video, please subscribe and then uh, like our video, right? See you in the next video.